Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, October 22nd to October 28th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a, a general reading for a Gemini star sign <clears throat> and it is not your personal reading Therefore, I will try my best here to explain you the uh, the meanings of the cards, uh, their synergy in the spread, but uh, at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading, and for personal readings, um, please check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So going to the tarot spread first, the first position here is going to show us the topic for your Gemini's week. The second position is about the core of the situation. Third position is the challenges which are causing predicaments. And the last position, it's about the guidance the tarot is offering to you. Now I will turn over the first couple of cards as they are... Um, severely linked to one another so for the topic we do have the king of pentacles and for the core we do have the four of swords so what happens here is that king of pentacles as a topic points that at this particular week it is likely the two gemini's are going to focus more in depth upon the current undertakings and the current uh, plans that you do had from the previous weeks therefore <clears throat> this king um or this card shows that you would be very resistant and uh, resilient for that matter for a, a new tasks and new agendas that could be brought into you from uh, relatives, family members, bosses and co-workers etc etc for the very reason that you will want to first finalize what you already have in your basket and what you already have on the plate here before you actually overburdening yourself with something um, new that could cause a a disruption of the synergy that you are experiencing at this very moment and as we're talking about synergy this is where the synergy comes from from the very core of the situation as the four of swords here tells us that uh, some issues that you found uh, are very difficult to overcome uh, some problems some predicaments etc etc somehow are going to vaporize for the duration of the week leaving you room to catch up your breath leaving you uh, with an option available to now focus more in depth upon your current relationship, uh, friendships, um, projects, etc, etc. And you will want to uh, maximize that time of calmness, that time of lack of um, lack of issues and lack of uh, lack of problems so you can consolidate your current, uh, as I said, undertakings and current responsibilities or tasks. Now, what is important here to be said with the King of Pentacles is that you... Um, you have to attend to those kind of um, to those kind of responsibility very accountable um, <clears throat> or very accountably because um, how can I place it? That will be a big prerequisite for you Gemini's of investments. And under another prerequisite of investments, I mean that you will be able to kind of. Uh, I don't know, make those uh, those agendas of yours that you are. Um, pursuing at this very moment rock solid because this is what the, the king of pentacles is all about you know consolidating what they are working upon at this very moment uh, before they actually start thinking even comprehending upon a, a new goals and upon a new tasks so uh, <clears throat> Just on these couple of cards, uh, it will be a very positive week for you to finalize projects, all right? Not to start new ones or to finalize relationship, reaching closure here, uh, consolidating them, etc., etc. Instead of embarking a a, a brand new um, a, a brand new undertakings of them, like uh, new relationships, new projects, new jobs, etc., etc. On top of that, the the uh, four of um, Swords 
points that you can cancel yourself with a um, how can I place it I, I cannot say very smart people but let's say very faithful companions here who can truly um, spur your vision upon um, upon the productiveness and the efficiency of your current project that being said you it's likely that you may find even a, a bigger value in what you are doing at this very moment but the four of swords it is also a card of resting and a card of gathering up one's strength therefore uh, with if we go with that specific interpretation it does look like that through you being able to recover uh, that will allow you as well to uh, finalize a, a very big uh, project or relationship at your behalf as well now the uh, the next card is going to show us the challenges that you have to focus uh, or you have to overcome and that is very synergized with the king of pentacles because the queen of pentacles is one who is seeking um how can i place it uh un undiscovered opportunities so uh, this card alone here tells us that there is so much more that you can accomplish um, within the frame of your um, current plans and your current um, undertakings. Because uh, it is one thing to finalize them here, but it is another thing to expand them. So that will be the issue, or rather that, that are going to be the predicaments that you have to face to find a way how you can expand your current projects, how you can expand your current relationship as well, etc, etc. <clears throat> before, uh, because, uh, and this card is also showing us that you don't need anything new here because you will have quite a lot as long as you are capable to find a way of expansion. And a way of expansion, it is what you you need to kind of try to um, try to look forward to uh, and in which specific sense here the four of swords it is showing that someone could point you to that direction so that's why it will be advisable for you to really listen to those who are trying to give you advice who are trying to um, resolve uh, a certain you know mind-blowing issues that you may have not being able to for example figure out how you have to do something or or, or what exact exactly is going to be uh, substantial for a certain push forward etc etc there will there will be a people around you like managers like financial advisors or even good friends <clears throat> If you lack, uh, if you like, if you lack a professional opinion, you know people with a professional opinion, um, which uh, are going to expand your vision. And through expanding of one's vision, it is when uh, it is where the expansion of a current marriage, relationship, project, etc., etc., is going to come at place. So just to give you a few example examples here, if you do have a private business then this reading is all about expanding your private business before you start thinking about starting a new job for example because there is a uh, quite a lot of room where your current business could expand same goes for your relationship before you think about breaking entirely your relationship you have to think about is there another way how you can consolidate it how you can recuperate it etc etc and how you can expand it <clears throat> so it's uh, this this specific reading here gemini asks you to think very carefully you know uh what is yet into your uh, into your environment that you haven't utilized at this very moment and how far your your blessings could expand even further because this reading here shows us shows us that it could expand to a, a great state and the last one is the guidance that you should rather follow here we do have the eight of pentacles which speaks for itself here the eight of pentacles is about working meticulously it's about establishing one's skills it, it, it is about executing one's plan as well <clears throat> but it's also a about taking um or attending to the minor details of one situation therefore <clears throat> this card could manifest in many different ways but for uh for business reading that card asks you to stop overthinking 
things you know and roll up your sleeves and start doing something about it slow and steady by attending to the minor details your business or your career is going to start um, moving forward when we talk about relationship related questions this card asks us to stop overthinking again but be ready to step outside of the world and show that we are ready to do something about improving our uh, circumstances because um, they will not going to improve themselves on their own accord it is you my dear Gemini's who has to make the effort for it and that effort should be made after you carefully consult yourself with someone who actually knows what they're talking about <clears throat> so that was the tarot reading now let me um, shuffle the uh, Lenormand cards which are going to show us a um, event that you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid just one second all right so let's see what we got here now the first one is the stork the stork speaks for a, a delivery and it also stands for new era it stands for a, a new beginning the next card is the child which the child stands for at the word petite it stands as well for new beginning also and it stands for a, a child as well and the last one this is going to be the uh, the bucket the bucket stands for, uh, or the bouquet, it stands for uh, surprise, it stands for benefits, it stands for bonus as well. So this, card, the, this event could be a, a delivery of a petite bonus, all right, regarding the job that you have done here and that you are trying to push on forward. So that could be the very, um, <clears throat> how can I place it? Um, the one portion of the payoff for the work that you have that you are currently doing and the, the work that you are trying to expand as well also these cards could be about conceiving you know conceiving a child by a, a surprise as we said and that was going to be a happy surprise also it could be a, a birth of a child which in this specific case points that is going to be entirely healthy etc etc or it could be a, a surprising new beginning which is the last thing as a matter of fact that you do want seeing the uh, the tarot cards which right now are asking you to um, to rather focus upon the current undertakings and the current responsibilities that you do have than seeking new ones so the last manifestation of the card surprising new beginning it is something that you in my opinion at least it is you should try to avoid rather than the rest of it it is something that you should look forward to so uh, that being said, Gemini's, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for October 22nd to October 28th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed and you liked it. And again, this was just a general reading for a Gemini star sign. And it was not your personal reading, guys. Therefore, uh, I tried my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards, um, their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And uh, for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.